In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back to another episode. We are about to get into day 16 here. Yesterday it felt like we hit rock bottom. Today I'm not going to do more mining. We do still need three more levels for our immediate quest requirements and five more levels in total over the course of this challenge. But yeah, after yesterday I, I gotta go do some else for a bit. I need to at least have some kind of bit of fun today. So I think I'm gonna do some fishing instead. It'll be a little more varied because we need two levels to be able to unlock Temporos. So we're gonna have to go and get those somewhere. Uh, and then at that point we can do some Temporos, which will be a little more interesting at least than Hit Rock. So yeah, nah, not gonna waste too much time because I'm recording this quite late as it is and I wanna try and get it out before midnight. Start off with a birdhouse run and then go do some fishing. 38 hunter there. Five bird nests so far on this run. Very nice indeed. I don't have energy though. <laughs> don't have a dueling ring on this. Can I be going to the grand exchange now? Just open those nests. Nothing major there. We'll get ourselves a pestle and mortar and grind these down. Nice bit of profit there to start out the day. We'll put those up at 78k. Okay, we want a job head still. We want a jeweling ring to go and reset real quick. And uh, glory to get back here. And we want a fishing rod, I guess. It's fly fishing, isn't it? Rod. Salmon fly fishing feathers. We got a normal one. Do have lots of feathers thanks to the birdhouse runs. Okay, uh, how much are admiral pies? That is actually very, very reasonable. I'm gonna get some of those. And we'll get a barb tail harpoon as well. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I guess we don't really need the alx curse. We're gonna be actively fishing, so. Not much point. So just like we did for the mining, I'm gonna go ahead and set myself a fishing goal for 53. And these Admiral Pies are gonna be super nice. It'll give me plus five fishing boost, which will make my catch rate much, much faster. We can cook the fish here too. And like I say, we're only here for two levels till we get to 35 and then we can go do some Temporos. So I may stay for a couple levels past that just to, you know, improve the level further. Depends how long it takes. There's the first level. I don't know how close we were. We might have been super close already. 2k XP to the next level, 50 a catch, so depending on what you catch, 70 for a salmon. And this is going to be pretty quick. I mean, the XP rate hasn't fully updated yet. It's not going to take three hours and... 20 minutes, though we do have a lot of XP to get, of course. Is it worth game preserve? Alright, get some cooking XP in. We shouldn't be too long to get another level here. Should get it on the next invent. And I think after that, I'll probably be going straight to Temporos, but I'm gonna head to the GE first. I'm gonna get a Torn Prayer Squirrel. Which, for those who don't know, unlocks the Preserve Prayer. Boosted stats last 50% longer. So, that will make these fishing boosts last longer. And I'll get even more out of my 
some Admiral Pies. Which honestly were pretty great there. But yeah, I don't actually have the uh, the wolf on me. It might just be better to run up there, to be honest. We're like right there. It's probably quicker than going to reset the bank. One more catch. And we're out there. 35 fishing. We will be going to Temporos very, very soon. But seeing as I'm running this way anyway, rather than going back up to the fire there and then running down, I'm just going to use the range here. Will be a better cook rate anyway than using a campfire. So, a bit more XP for our, our time. Nice, and we're cooking level as well, up to 35 on that, keeping pace with the... Did that interrupt me? No, I haven't got anything to cook. Yeah, we're well, keeping pace on uh, cooking and fishing both, so... As long as I fish at tempo, we should be good. I don't think there's any way I can make money of this, but I'll check it out on my Iron Man when I'm not on the clock. See if there's any rewards that like are sellable, and if there are, maybe we'll do it tomorrow or something. Who knows? All right, so we want preserve, which is a torn prayer scroll. Lovely stuff. I'll pay whatever I need to, because it's a one-time unlock for the account, and then we have it forever. Fantastic. That is preserve, and then we are going to put these away. We need a couple of buckets, we need a rope, but we can get one there, we need a hammer, we need the harpoon, we need a charged glory, we can sell that one, don't need that just now, it's just the rope that we need, which we will get from the crate. Alright folks, we are off to Temperos, I'm already on a Temperos world. Hoping it's busy enough, because sometimes the UK worlds are quiet. Like, compared to the German or the American one, it's very quiet, but we'll see how it looks. If we need to hop, we can. Yeah, is he not just going to take me? Oh, I haven't changed the, right, the left-click option, that's all. Okay. No one here. Is actual no one here? Or are they all in a game right now? Okay, I'm going to hop. That looks like no one is actually here, and I don't want to solo it at 35 fishing. Uh, is my entity either on? Where the fuck are all the people? Alright, I guess we're doing it on American worlds. Enjoy the ping. Man, that wall looks gross. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, quickly grab ourselves a rope. And then we're off. I feel like you get energy back when you fish at the pool, but it might be a while before we're fishing at the pool. Oh, I need to eat. I'm actually just going to wait until after... This next catch and cook. Okay, the spot disappeared. Okay, we'll set that up on our quick prayers. Storm clouds. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get a full invent. I should probably just take what I have over to the... Oh, there is a double leather. Okay, I'm just not going to cook this lot. Give me a double. Oh, please let me get that on time. Okay, lag scared me. We don't need another one. We can just go put these in. It's too low. Oh. He's gone down. Didn't even get the full invent off. We need to run and replenish though, so... I have to get straight back on it here. Get to go finish loading what I had and then get back to fishing. Hopefully there's a green by the time I get back there. I will, like, properly explain Temporos on the next run for anyone who's unfamiliar. Just getting into the swing of things. The basic concept is we're trying to get his essence down to zero and to do that we have to fish at the pools but we can't fish at the pools until we bring his energy down which we do by firing harpoon fish at him for release cannons. Hooked harpoon fish deal more damage and get more reward points but means less time actively gain fishing experience so that's the trade-off there and these green spots have a chance of giving you two fish at a time rather than one i'm just going to go deposit these because i don't have much time and i want to make sure i get as much because the, the most fishing xp comes out of putting fish in this basket make sure to douse these fires as i see them because if you don't put them out they do spread and walking through them makes you lose stuff from your inventory. Sometimes 
And he shoots at the cannons, as you can see, a disabled that one there. I wasn't on it anyway, but like, yeah, they've got fuck tons of fires over there. They need to sort that shit out. However, when this one happens, it does clean all the fires. You need to tether yourself to a mast whenever you see this coming. Sometimes it will break the mast or the totem pole. In which case, you'd want to repair it so it can be used again. I'm just going to go load these up. I'm not going to have time to get any more in. Probably don't have time to do all these, to be honest. There's the first fishing level. 36. The XP rate's not looking hot right now, though. I think it's just because I spent, like, five minutes not fishing. When I was uh, cooking and going to the GE and shit. Yeah, I'm... Oh my gosh, I need to change all my left-click options. Slow me down so much. Right, we would be going straight back in, but I'm going to grab a pie first. Yeah, and you get permits when you're in a game, so I got three permits on that game for my score. One for each thousand, I think. Uh, and they can be used in the rewards pool, which we'll obviously check out later, once we're done for the day, rather than wasting time going back and forth to it. There's not too much in the rewards pool, but who knows, maybe we get lucky on something that's worth money. Could get like a tome of water or something, probably a few hundred k. Usually the strategy at the start of the round is to fish till you have like six or seven, depending on how quick you catch them. And then generally by the time you've cooked them, the green one will be up. I'm not used to having such a low fishing levels. So I think it's taken me longer to get to seven than I'm used to. So maybe I should go for like four or five would probably be the sweet spot at the start of uh, a round for me. But yeah, you want to be in the green spot as much as it's there basically, because that chance to get double. So you cook when the green's not there, and... Honestly, I don't think I should be cooking. The cooking XP is just not worth it. It's not worth it. And we don't care about points that much. I should just be fishing. 100%. Because we can get the cooking XP so much faster just making Karamba ones one tick. And from random quests. There's a bunch of quests still on our list that give little bits of cooking. I suppose I should be wearing prayer bonus, huh? For this preserve. I hadn't thought about that. But we could definitely take a god book and a dragon bone necklace like there is absolutely zero reason for me not to. Because otherwise I'm going to have to like teleport to an altar or drink prayer pots or something. I don't even know if I have prayer pots. I'm going to reset the uh, per XP per hour tracker here. Just felt like it had stagnated a bit and wasn't accurate. So now With preserve, the boost lasts roundabout for a game. So... Pretty nice. One slice of game. Yeah, the XP loader it's looking a lot better now and well it's still balancing, but it's getting there. Should be able to get a full invent off here. And there's 37 fishing. Yeah, just a few more in if we can. Basically go to this spot runs out and then shove them in the cannon. I'm gonna race to fucking get them in the cannon though, to be fair. Almost down. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to fish at the pool at all. Yeah, I'm going to do a cock play. Okay, another super quick trip to the bank. want to get some prayer bonus stuff. So, we're going to get our book and a dragon bone necklace. Don't think we have anything else prayer. Oh, we got this as well. The initiate, Sally. Do we have the other initiate stuff, or did we alk them or sell them? We just didn't get them. We got that from a quest reward. Okay, I don't think we have any other prayer bonus here. The Ardy Cape. That's probably most of it, so I'll just go with this. Very nice. Do we have any prayer potions? No, we do not. Restores? No, we do not. Okay, so we're probably going to have to reset at some point. Because I've already drained more than half my prayer. It's not too slow to get back here, though. Yes, I'm aware that I won't be able to recover it. Don't ask again. Ever. Don't care about my pie dish. Okay. Okay, 22 pro bonus, definitely better. We are slightly heavier now, but who cares? We get energy back anyway at the whirlpool. And yeah, no more cooking. I just want fishing XP purely. Usually I would recommend cooking because the reward points are much, much better, but they just don't matter to me today. Playing on an Iron Man, definitely cook. Excellent, already got a full invent. Oh, please let me get to the mast. Oh, thank fuck. 
if you get caught in it, it'll wash out like a bunch of your inventory. Which obviously sucks. I haven't seen a single pole get damaged yet. There's a combat achievement for it, but... <laughs> just has not happened at all. For repairing none. I did look into, like, combat achievements as a potential way to get some mining XP, but at the end of the day, for the easy combat tier, all I get is a 5k lamp and, like... You have to get up to... I'd have to get, like, 25 points. It'd be quite a significant grind. Not a difficult grind, but a big time investment to get it. And, yeah, it's, it's just going to be quicker to do the mining. Way quicker to do the mining. Like, there's not any achievement diaries, I think, that are easy enough or quick enough to do that... A little bit more efficient, either. This 38 fishing. We had way further to go with this, didn't we? I don't think there's any quests I have left that give me fishing XP, really. Land of the Goblins. We could maybe do. Oh, there's a damage mast. There we go. No one had repaired it. I'm gonna look into Land of the Goblins. Because we've actually got all the quest prerequisites, we just don't have the level prerequisites. But they are 45 thieving and 48 herb law. So they're doable? Because they're in our, like, we're planning to get those levels anyway at some point. Might just mean getting sidetracked before getting hero's quest if I go through with it though. It's not that long of a quest, from what I recall. Gives agility, herb law, thieving and fishing, they're all useful. I might have to pl work this into the plan somehow. Like, I'm not going to do it in the mid-session. But I'll look into it after. I think Land of the Goblins is probably a good idea. Because of the uh, XP rewards it gives us. But I just, I don't know if I want to move. Because there's a lot of quests that give thieving XP. That we could get to get our thieving up. But I don't know if I want to move all of those before Hero's Quest. Because I wanted to get Hero's Quest done as soon as possible. So that we can get miscellanea online. How important is miscellanea? That's the question. It's really nice for income, but is it truly necessary for the success of the challenge? Maybe not. Maybe it's just my investment fallacy taking over. I should have filled my buckets up because I was talking. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should I go to try and prioritise miscellanea? Or should I put it on hold and go to do some thieving quests and some herb law training to do Land of the Goblins first and get 8k fishing XP? I mean, we've still got a lot of fishing XP to get as well, but this feels slow as hell, that's all. Like, it's telling me it's going to take me four hours. I don't want to do four days of Temporos just to get some fishing levels, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, it's better than the mining, but at least the mining was a better XP route. Honestly, considering just going back to the salmon. Yo, I didn't even eat, I'm done. I'm doing the second invent, pointless wasting at this point. That is 39 fishing. Slowly getting up there. Not getting that much XP today though. Not gonna lie, it hasn't felt like we've progressed a lot. Can we boost for Hero's Quest? Can boost for all of it? Don't think there's a way to get a plus three mining boost. Unless we did spicy stews, but I don't really want to do spicy stews. We could boost the fishing from 48. That would cut down how much we have to do significantly. And we definitely should. Yeah, that's going to be... That's going to mean we need 50,000 XP rather than 100,000 XP. It's literally halving it. No way I'm going to get all these off before it goes down, but I'm just going to sit here and put them all in. Honestly, I'm not sure how much I'm feeling Temporos. I feel like we're getting better XP just fucking sat at Salmon and Trout. Which is crazy, but it felt better. I think the rate was even higher. Like, we only have to catch 700 and we're catching them super quick. I do want to set up an XP drop thing, but I don't know if it'll... Cancel me out of the action. Just wanted to change it to 48 instead. While we're at it, we could change the mining goal to 49. Alright, folks, I'm actually gonna go do permits. So, this is the reward port. You need a small fishing net, which somebody was kind enough to drop on the floor for me. And you get pretty much fuck all. 
I mean, it's some cooking XP. Some planks. I guess that's money. Okay, we are going to go to the Edgeville spot. Wait, do we have a birdhouse run to do? Not quite yet. Jewelling ring. You know what, I'm actually just going to get the birdhouse stuff. So I can go straight from the fishing spot to the birdhouses at the end of the session. Just when there's like two and a half minutes left on the clock. Oh shit, I didn't bring my feathers! Oh my gosh. Knew I was missing somewhat. Where's those birdhouses when you need them? By the time I actually get to the fishing spot, I'll be fucking ready. I don't even know that I want to cook this, because again, we can get much faster cooking XP just doing Karam ones. I feel like the goal right now is fishing, so we should be fishing. Because like I said, whilst we do still need 53 cooking for the exact same quest, much, much faster with Karam ones. So I'm just going to stay on the fishing spot for the next 7 minutes or so. I want the spot to move so I know it's in a fresh place and I can go to the bathroom. Absolutely dying. I don't know why this has happened two days in a row. There's 40 fish in total level 900. Did gain like 7 levels today. Just hasn't been a lot of actual XP XP. 17k so far. Compared to like previous days grinds where we're getting like 35k for the mining or magic or whatever. Feels slow. Fuck it, I need to go. If it moves, it moves. Fuck. It's gonna be tight to try and squeeze out another level to the... Don't know if we'll get there. We've only really got like a minute and a half before we need to go do birds. Nah, we're not gonna get there today. I wanna make sure we get our bird houses reset. Been a bit lax with them lately, but it is such nice income. Oh, so close. We are so close. I feel like I've got to just stay for it. Nah, we gotta go. We gotta go. I wish there was just like a random fishing spot on the Fossil Island beach. <laughs> there isn't, is there? I'm not tripping. Oh, it's like underground, the underwater, the fishing spot here, isn't it? 39, Hunter. Please, let me get this set. Oh, I just had enough time. Literally just had enough time. Wow. I'm going to walk over towards the bank. All right. Not as much XP gain today as perhaps other days, but I'm blaming that on the fishing rates. Not any, like, lack of activity. We, we did our best. We were pretty much as active as we could be. Moved around a couple of times, sure, but, like, we had to originally, and then it felt like just wasn't that good there. I still haven't figured out which one is actually better. They both feel pretty damn similar, if I'm honest. Just one's much more high intensity than the other. We did manage to get seven fishing levels, though. Almost got an eighth. Almost, almost. So pretty much eight levels, up to 41, damn near. Got a couple cooking levels as well, up from 33. Hunter up from 37 to 39, and then nothing gained in the magic department really. So yeah, a slow day folks, a slow day, but uh, at least it was more fun than yesterday. Ain't that the truth. Still fuck mining, however, fuck it only for one and a half levels now, not for two and a half levels now, because uh, we've realised we can boost the hero's quest, which is very nice indeed. And same for, same for fishing, we've just got to get up to 48, 7 more levels. Maybe I can master craft some way to, to do it in tomorrow's session, I don't know. I feel like there'll be another day of fishing and then a day that's split between mining and fishing. And then we'll be done with these skill grinds, we can smash the cooking out in no time at all and actually get on to hero's quest soon rather than later. That's what, I fingers crossed anyway. If you are continuing to enjoy the series, please do leave a like on the video, it helps out a ton, it both promotes me into the algorithm for other people to find my content, and it lets me know that you like what I'm doing, so I keep doing it. Leave a comment down below, let me know, should I go for Land of the Goblins, should I keep strong and prioritise the Heroes quest and the Kingdom of Miscellanea arc? What are your thoughts? Love to hear them. 
and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content, including tomorrow's episode, whenever the hell it drops. Until then, though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.